today we have Paul Goodison, helmsman with Team America Magic. Looks like we had a light air day out there, but looks like you guys got in plenty of sailing. How did it go out there? Oh, it's great to finally get a day that was uh, really light, so we can tick off a lot of those things we've been we've been waiting for. We, we've got some big decisions that are being made at the moment with our whole design and about how we take off, wind speeds, how the boat performs at different heel angles for the takeoffs, and we we had a great day. Um, addressing a lot of the uh, the questions that we've uh, created ourselves and, and getting a lot of answers today. Anything specific on the agenda for today? Yeah, obviously we uh, our whole design's coming coming to completion, and uh, it does look quite different to uh, to what, what the AC40 does. But we can learn a lot from uh, from the bustle and the angles of the AC40 to what we have uh, proposed for our design side, and, and getting some some good answers there there today in the, in the takeoff stuff. Okay, great. Uh, it looked like the jibes were, were almost perfect, but the uh, tacks a little less than. Were you guys just trying something new, or? Something? Yeah, we got we got heaps of things we're we're trying to uh, to achieve with. Obviously, the falls are quite different, and, and they need a little bit different um, the way we approach it and land on them. I had the bit of an easier side today with uh, with the bigger foil, but the uh, the cants that are used and the and the uh, the flaps and the pitches, we're, we're just experimenting with a bunch of stuff and, and trying to learn more about our own foil relative to the to the one design one okay thanks for that and just a few questions about the simulator um, does the simulator um, can the can the software be, be manipulated to reflect foil changes yeah we have the, we have the ability to do all sorts on the simulator we can replicate different boats different foils and uh, play around with different stuff in there so we, we can make it uh, quite realistic and, and validate some of the stuff on the water does it have a race mode as well? Yeah, yeah, we can we can do a whole heap of stuff in there between uh, one boat in, two boat in, a bit of racing, a bit of testing, manual control, automatic control. There's uh, there's plenty of setups with that we uh, we can try and, and experiment with. Okay, who would you say uses the simulator the most? Um, department. I, I guess I guess it, it, it depends on on what part of the uh, I guess the, the design process we're in. At times we uh, we're quite heavily in there as a sailing team, working on some communication and how we sail the boat. At other times it's just doing some automated tests to see uh, see different configurations and, and how they... Okay, great. And um, I think it was last week or the week before, we saw what looked like some pre-start maneuvers. Can you walk us through the different speed kill maneuvers that you might use in a pre-start? I think it's going to be very similar to last time. Obviously, once you're, uh, once you're up on one board, you, you've got to much higher bottom speed than when you have when you're on two boards. So just using two boards down give you the ability to to sail around a little bit slower and uh, and kill time a little bit quicker than than what you'd be able to do if you're just on one board. So that's that's really the the, the main aim of, uh, of the two boards. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thank you very much. No worries. Thanks, fellas.